to me, I, I've been saying for a month now that, you know, circle the, the calendar with a big red circle on uh, the first Friday in June when the May unemployment numbers came out and we had the uptick to 9.1%. Because I, you know, in the whole arc of the of the re-election campaign, that was a seminal moment, I believe. Uh, this only continues that, uh, you know, that, that pattern. And it's a huge problem. I, I saw Pluff said, you know, it's today it's not the economy stupid and don't pay any attention to these uh, to the jobs number and the unemployment in your neighborhood and your house um, because we will tell you what's important to you and it's not really uh, your you losing your job or your neighbor losing your job or your cousin losing uh, his job or her job Th this is the White House staff keeping their job <laughs> but I, I you know this is a uh, significant and and uh, you know, we all know the data, the numbers in terms of uh, unemployment rates and presidential re-elections. There is a correlation. I know Glenn has the, the correlation on consumer confidence. Uh, I'm going to ask him to talk about it in a moment uh, because it ties in here. And, and the fact is that what we saw come out today was what these voters a few weeks ago were telling us. They, you know, they know the economy is bad. And they don't, when, when they hear people say, like the President of the United States, well, you know, just a bump in the road or, you know, things are not that bad, it, it's like nails on a chalkboard to them. And for Pluff to say, well, unemployment doesn't really matter in terms of the President's re-election, that'll be more nails on the chalkboard to, to voters uh, because they think it's very important uh, and it's personal to them, as we saw in these focus groups. Uh, so, I, you know, today is just like... Uh, reinforcing uh, of, of last month, which I thought was a seminal moment in the uh, in the arc of the re-election campaign, but.